There's plastic lined ponds and there are naturally lined ponds. This is a plastic lined pond, the one we're looking at here. Now the reason why you would need to line a pond with plastic all has to do with the soil type in the landscape or place that you want to install a pond. Also, it has to do with the size of the pond that you want to install. So if you want to have a very small pond because you don't have a lot of room, then you'll have to do it with a plastic liner and not a natural liner. And the reason for that is because natural liners require a, at least a two to one slope on the in slope of the pond. So what that means is in order to even get a two foot depth, you need approximately a six foot width. Now, two foot depth is the minimum depth more or less you want if you, will, if you want to have fish in your pond. So smaller ponds generally always have to be plastic lined. And what the benefit of that is that you can dig vertical sides to a plastic lined pond, meaning you can dig a hole straight down to a two foot, three foot, four foot depth, whatever it is that you want. And a plastic liner will be able to stabilize on that kind of a, of a sheer face. The other reason, like I mentioned, about having a plastic line pond is has to do with soil type. So here we are in Spassable, California, known for its sandy loam. We have a, a high concentration of sandy loam here and a very low concentration of clay. To have a successful naturally lined pond requires a high level of clay, or at least a moderate level of clay in the soil, which we have none of here in this ecosystem and in this soil type. So it was absolutely necessary for us to use a plastic liner. Now, if you're looking at different kinds of liners, my suggestion is an EPDM 40 mil liner. Anything else, if you use polyvinyl or if you use a preformed plastic pond liner, all of those will not last very long. Anything else will be a temporary pond. Some people want to use used plastic or plastic tarps, things you might find just around. And the problem with that is often those will either photodegrade, meaning if they've sat in the sun, the plastic start to degrade from the sun, um, and or will just easily tear by a rock or a stick or something that might fall from a tree into the pond. And so you want to be very careful that you, we don't use plastics that will leak easily or tear easily. What we also want to be very, very cautious of is not using plastics that off-gas chemicals or dioxins into the pond because that will kill fish and create a toxic environment. That's why the EPDM liner is so great because it is a completely non-toxic material with a lower embodied energy in relation to other plastics, meaning that the energy it took to actually produce the product is a much lower amount of energy and devastation to people in the earth than something like polyvinyl chloride PVC, which has a long history of causing cancer and pollution in the watersheds and will actually off-gas dioxins into the pond water. But a 40 mil EPDM liner can last 25 to 30 years, which gets you a nice longevity for a pond that might provide fish, microclimate moderation, cooling or warming the air, biomass production where you're actually pulling material out of, the, out of the pond to provide mulch for the garden. Now what's really important when putting in a plastic line pond is protecting the edge of the pond itself because everybody's attracted to ponds. Humans, raccoons, deer, birds, and they will want to access that water. Now, if you don't build a nice terrace or what we would call a ledge inside the pond, you're creating a situation where animals potentially could fall in and not get out. Now, the problem with that is if they fall in and they have no way to get out of the pond, they will likely rip the liner to shreds and you will have a leaky pond. So at Permaculture Artisans, we always build plastic lined ponds with at an 18 inch minimum depth ledge with at least an 18 inch or wider ledge 
around the entire pond. And then we use rock and plants to protect the liner. All kinds of critters can actually access the edge of the pond without falling into the deep water. That nice ledge also provides a great place to put your biofiltration plants, plants that will help clean the water and create habitat for damselflies and dragonflies and support generally a healthy pond system. So I like to tell folks, don't be afraid of a plastic lined pond, just install it correctly and you can enjoy all the benefits of a pond in almost any landscape.